Good day, students. This is the last video in our series of videos on trigonometry. And again, we're just going to do a couple of bearing questions. And these are slightly harder than the ones we did in the last video. OK, let's go ahead and read the question together. So a hiker walks 2.4 kilometers east, then walks south 75 degrees west until she is due south of her starting position. Draw a diagram of the scenario. OK, let's just stop there and get that done. So first thing we have to do is draw the little compass marking in the north. So this is where she's starting, just there. She walks, in fact, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Can't make it too much. I can make it a bit bigger that way. OK, she walks 2.4 kilometers east. I might change my color here. 2.4 kilometers east. So now she's over there. Now from this point, she then walks south 75 degrees west. So what I have to do now is just put in another small compass. So she now walks south. 75 degrees towards the west. So from the south, I'm going to walk in approximately that direction. And I know that this angle in here is 75 degrees. There's a right angle. So she walks 2.4 kilometers east. So let's put the 2.4 kilometers in there. From there, she walks south 75 degrees west until she's due south of her starting position. OK, so we've drawn the diagram. How far is she from her starting position? So what I need to do now is to put in a D for the unknown distance. I'm trying to find that length just there. OK, let's go ahead and uh, answer the question now. So let's go ahead off to choose a new color now I might go for uh, purple I think okay let's mark in everything that well first I've got to mark in this angle I need an angle inside the triangle so if that's 75 degrees this one is 15 degrees so this is the hypotenuse this is the opposite side and that's the adjacent side OK, so we're looking for the opposite side. We know the adjacent side. The trig ratio that we want to use is opposite over adjacent, which is tangent. OK, let's put in everything that we know. Substitute, in other words. So tan of 15 degrees. The opposite side is what we're looking for. The adjacent side is what we know. OK, let's write the D on the left. We multiply both sides by 2.4, and that gives us 2.4 tan 15. And use the calculator to finish this off. 2.4 times tan 15. Check that what I've typed is what I've written, which it is. And what accuracy do we need? And it doesn't say. So let's uh, have a look in the, at the answer and make a decision then. Uh, looks like she's, I'd say, probably two decimal places. 0.64 of a kilometer south of where she started from. OK, so there's the answer to question B. OK, for question C, it's asking how far did she walk on this bearing of south 75 degrees west? So we're looking for the length of that line just there. Now, it turns out we have two ways we can do this. Because we know that angle, we can use trigonometry. Because we now know these two side lengths, we can use Pythagoras. I think I'll use Pythagoras just uh, to remind you guys. Um, how we use Pythagoras on right angle triangles. So 
Pythagoras, I always start with c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And recalling back from term one, when we, when we first learned this, c is always the hypotenuse, and then a and b are either one of the two sides. So what I'm actually looking for, I'm going to call this, let's see, how far did you work? I'm going to call that f for far. Okay, so I'm looking for the length of the hypotenuse. So I need to find f squared. A I'll use as 2.4. B is going to be what we just found, 0 0.64. So let's use our calculator to work out the value of that expression. And clear what I've done. So I've got 2.4 squared plus 0 0.64 squared. Okay, yep, looks like I've done that correctly. And I get, oops, I didn't remember that. Back again, 6.1696. 6.1696. Nine, six. And then we finish it off, take the square root of both sides. 6.1696. And the distance we're looking for is... Let's move this off to the other side square root 6.1696. And I'm probably going to round that off again to two decimal places. So 2.48 kilometers. Okay, so that was a slightly more challenging question. Um, first thing is we had to draw the diagram and then we had to use our knowledge of bearings to work out the, uh, the answer to part B. And then we had a choice of using trigonometry or Pythagoras to work out the distance that she walked on the bearing of south 75 degrees west. And oh, that's it. We're finished. Well done. Okay, guys. Well, um, that's the end of our unit on trigonometry. And uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit. And the secret now is practice, practice, practice on the questions in your textbook until you become 100% uh, confident you can do trig questions. Okay, bye for now. And we'll be doing uh, the next unit uh, shortly.